Hi everyone. Quickly, I would like to share some simple tools in Photoshop that you can use to enhance your mid-journey images. What I have here is an original image that I created uh, in mid-journey, which is uh, on the leftmost side. And then I have the two identical copies of the same image. So we can compare and contrast once we apply the tools that I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to just remove the original one because it's the, it was my beginning point and then you do, you know, some sort of like photoshopping around, but that's not our subject today. So I'm just going to close that and then start zooming into the other two images I have here and just set them to stay at the same scale. So this is 200% uh, zoom in into the two images I have here. So we start seeing some features, you know, uh, pixelation. Uh, starts appearing and then we see the edges are showing some you know like jagged features and so on and so forth all right so let's start uh, with the simple process of upscaling this by using an embedded AI tool in Photoshop so what I do is I go to image pick image size which opens this dialog box that you're accust accustomed to by default and what we're going to do is we're gonna going to bump this uh, the dimension uh, of the uh, square image from 1664 to 3328, which is exactly the, you know, uh, doubling, uh, you know, the, the edges uh, of, the, of the image. So it's going to return the four times uh, the, the pixel amount that we have there. And uh, as we do it, uh, while you are using Preserve Detail 2.0, you can also play with you know this slider, which which pretty much works well together with uh, upscaling, and you just need to look into the features that you would like to see here, and decide uh, which kind of like reduction is working well for you. If you bump it too high, it's gonna get maybe too smooth and too blurry. If you keep it too low, maybe you're gonna see like more edges and so on and so forth. So you have to kind of uh, decide what you would like to go for. Again, we bump the dimensions. Uh, we we pick resample. We pick preserve details, and we adjusted the noise reduction. And we say okay. So what happens here is that of course our image is much larger now. I'm going to zoom out, uh, and then zoom back into to find you know the similar area that I was looking into, and I can go back to my original image and zoom in. And it a little more now you're going to start seeing that you know uh, it's uh, significantly different in terms of the you know high how pixelated the one on the left side is if you look at this edge closely the outer edge of the building uh, the pixels are showing themselves whereas here you have much smoother lines so we can set these back uh, and then you know we know this image on the right side is 3300 plus 28 you know like pixels which is again the twice the size uh, of this one on the left side. All right, so that's done. If you want to further, you know, uh, enhance this image, you can use a tool that has been in Photoshop for a while. You go to filter, and if you go to camera raw filter here, it's going to give you uh, an option to play with a lot of things here, you know, including uh, the, you know, the curves, colors, and so on. But I'm going to only go into detail tab here and which is going to help you you know like sharpen your image and if you would like to again you know uh, reduce the noise you can use the noise reduction slider sharpening is kind of cool in these images because it helps you find the edges a little more but if you bump it too high again you're going to get starting uh, these kind of like pixelations here if you see on the right side let's go back and get closer and uh, yeah, you see this kind of, you know, like these, this uh, pixelated pattern again, because I'm sharpening too much. So you can bump the noise reduction and it's going to smooth out uh, the, the pixels with similar color values here. So my suggestion would be, you know, kind of careful uh, with these tools, with these uh, sliders here. And, you know, uh, you have to go for some uh, trade-offs here, depending on what you would like to get. And I'm going to say, okay, all right. So I know now my image is, uh, you know, much larger than the original one. It is, it is also, uh, you know, sharper, so I can see the details and so on and so forth. The next three things that I'm going to do is 
uh, about image image enhancements, and you can use levels and colors and uh, and the tone uh, to deal with that. So to do that, again, all these could be uh, done manually, but I'm going to show you the automated version. Uh, what we do is we go to image adjustments and levels, and here you can just pick auto. It's going to give you much natural colors. This image is simpler for Photoshop to figure out because it is more like a you know like a gradient skyline, so it's not you know that problematic to figure out the levels uh, and colors. And the second thing I'm I would like to do is just use the uh, auto color here, which is going to give you a more natural tone of the sky. So it was greenish. If you want to keep the tint, that's fine. And the last thing I'm going to apply is auto tone. All right. So and then that's going to kind of like fit the image between the previous greenish gradient that you have and then the more bluish result that we got uh, after, you know, using the tone. So this is pretty much it, right? So you can go back again and compare this to the very original image that we had here. And then you're going to realize that, you know, the, the one on the left side is hopefully, you know, more convincing. It has more details. The color looks right. And you just had to use some couple of automated tools in Photoshop. I hope it helps. I would like to see more of your um, mid-journey images, so please keep them uh, posted online. Thank you.